I'm in the museum. Mike, I just picked something up on the cameras. It's Marburg's men. They have Madison. Damn it.
Mina, is there anyone in the museum? It's normal hours. A few tour groups, security guards. It's a light day for tourists. But that's still a lot of people of the bomb go... ...was off. I won't let it happen. going on. It sounds like Marburg's men are attacking the security guards. Security's outnumbered. They'll be slaughtered. Mike, what are you doing? your bombs are too? No, the bombs are with me at the Crusades exhibit. You won't have time to reach both. Either way, someone dies. You're right about that, Marburg. Why don't you stay put? I'll be right there. Left or right, Thornton? Your choice. Madison? Or coming after me and the bombs? There's not time for both. Mike, Madison. She's in the wing to your left, but the bombs are in the wing to the right. 
Which way should I go? I don't know, Mike. You'll have to make the call. But I don't think Marburg is bluffing. Mike, they've sealed off the entrance to the other wing. Guess there's only one. Mike, I'm picking up some interference on the channel. And judging from the frequencies, there's some proximity lines near your location. I'll keep an eye out.
Take the stairs to the workshops. There's a tunnel leading to an adjacent building in the restoration room. Go! Mike, I can't let you... Go, damn it! This waiting. I expected you to carry out your mission. Instead, you let your personal feelings get in the way. Enough of this. Thought you could hide. Around there. Kill! Keep on struggling. Keep. Discretion is... more from a self-appointed hero. You are disposable and obsolete. Surrender now and I can negotiate a deal, Marburg. Oh, I don't think so, Thornton. Immunity, protection, <laughs> those things don't interest me. Even if the authorities knew I existed, which they don't. Don't add to the body count, Marburg. There's no point to any of this. I think you'll see Miss St. James before I do, Thornton. Keep talking. Let's me know where to shoot. Enough of this. Damn it, he's getting away. There's nothing you can do now, Mike. Get out of there. There'll be another time. It was a difficult choice, the woman you cared for, or stopping a terrorist bombing. Oh, if I had been in your shoes, well, I don't know what I would have done. She took precedence. It was my fault she was there. Indeed. After Saudi Arabia, I always thought your mission came first. That's what made you so useful. I still don't see how this bombing helps you. Really? That's because you have a very narrow view of events. Then tell me what the bigger picture is. I can't expect you to keep up with every news report. I have an entire division devoted to it. Plus my ace. This bombing will reorganize terrorist legislation in the European Union. So what? How does that benefit you? The reorganization benefits Hellbeck. Surveillance, Airport screening tech, weapons. Mr. Marburg's little crusade in Rome has reminded Europe what freer is. So those people in the museum that died. Mm, that wasn't the plan, but... At least you saved one of them, didn't you? I certainly hope you're not blaming me for something you could have prevented, Mike. Oh, how did that turn out, by the way? Saving the damsel in distress and all.
when you come back, I'll be gone. I don't want you to try and find me. I care about you, Mike. I know you care about me, and that's why I can't be around you anymore. I can't let you put me before anything else, and not before the lives of others. Goodbye, Mike. I'm sorry. Welcome to Moscow, Mike. How do you like your new apartment? Nice digs. I see where all that Black Ops funding really goes now. Invoking Alpha Protocol does have its upside. Jealous. Of you freezing your butt off in Moscow? Not so much. Although there is a certain appeal to sitting in that loft drinking cocoa while you are crawling around in the snow. Ooh, you're a cruel woman. All right, down to business then. Do you have a plan of attack for Moscow? I've got a few leads from Saudi to follow up on. We'll see where those take me. Sounds like a solid plan. What will you follow up on first? Not sure yet. The missile launchers were moved through Leningradsky Station. There might be intel there. I've also got a CIA informant codenamed Grigori, and a mob underboss called Lazo. Finding those missiles is important, although more information would be helpful. But from his file, Grigori looks like the type who would sell information about you to interested parties. Lazo might be able to provide some leads, too. Plus, they might be able to tell me what bars and strip joints I should hit while I'm here. If you're trying to make me jealous... I'm an international super spy. I have obligations. Just call when you have anything new, hotshot. Here. Now to find Lazo.
his head. I'm the big man in Moscow. Lazo has been terminated. Move out. What the hell's going on here? What, nothing to say? This silent treatment of yours is starting to hurt my feelings. And after all we've been through, too. You're just a kid, so I'm willing to let this go. You keep pushing it. What's up with the connection? Looks like something's interfering with the transmission. Or... Great. You guys again. 
and I take it you're the leader? I ran into a little friend of yours tonight, hanging out with your G22 buddies. She's quite the little firecracker, although she doesn't talk much. Well, except with those pistols of hers. That would be my bodyguard, sis. And I know you spared her life. That's why I'm calling. I didn't want to fight her. I was only there for Lazo. But she didn't give me much choice. It was under my orders, Mike. But I didn't realize you would be there. Else, I would have instructed Sis to behave differently. So should I ask what G-22 is doing in Moscow? You guys sure seem to get around. It's a rather long answer, Mike. One I'd like to discuss more, if you'd be up for it. Is your bodyguard invited? If so, I'll need body armor. I'm afraid it's required she be present. We're not supposed to be apart. It's how G-22 operates in the field. But like you, I tend to bend the rules for the sake of the greater good. I'll leave the choice up to you, but I can't wait long. If you want to discuss your future, then meet me at the following coordinates. It isn't far. And come alone. All right. But I better not be walking into an ambush and tell Sis to keep her distance. I will do so. I will not wait long, Mike. So if you want to speak to me, you'll have to do it soon. Good times. I wonder if she's ever gonna call. Oh, great. Picture of Darcy. He wrote, Mike and Sean, fuck yeah! With three exclamation points.
beautiful night. Let's not ruin it by shooting each other. It's all right, sis. Hello, Mike. No trouble finding the place, I hope. No. I was curious why you wanted to talk in person. Telemarketing through the video screen seemed more your style. Sometimes. At the moment, I'd rather show a little more trust in each other. You spared Sis's life. For that, you have my thanks. I have something of hers. Here. Did she give that to you? I see. The locket is a childhood memento. Perhaps those days are gone. Regardless, thank you for sparing her life. The gratitude comes from both of us, it seems. Sorry it came to that. I didn't want to fight her, but the situation didn't leave much time for talking. Although she's not much of a talker, I take it. She's a mute. Let's walk. Sis will make sure we're not interrupted. All right. So, what did you want to talk about? I know to all outward appearances you're a rogue agent. I also know about Alpha Protocol. And in your case, it's being used for its intended purpose. It wasn't my choice, really. One of my associates made the decision for me. I disagree. You had other options, I'm sure. Did enacting Alpha Protocol change your mission? No. Then you should be proud of your accomplishment. What accomplishment? It's not often that one gets to turn the tools of their own government against them, and for the right reasons. And Alpha Protocol? It is a powerful tool. Between Halbeck and you, I'm beginning to feel like everyone knows about Alpha Protocol. It may seem that way. I'd argue you're simply traveling in a smaller circle here, on the fringe of international politics. I don't know what you want, Albatross. G-22's agenda? Doesn't seem like you have one. No. We have aspirations, as does any government. But we believe that agendas are accomplished by careful study and observation. If the status quo is disrupted, it makes predicting triggers and events more difficult. It's an odd thing. A government-sponsored program whose purpose is to prevent being policed by its own government. Now what kind of foundation is that for a country? I guess you have to trust your country and act in its best interests. Do you trust your country? I do. I believe in the mission. I propose we become allies. What, I become a member of G-22? No. I propose we cooperate. You will find that as extensive as Alpha Protocol's leftover safe houses and gadgets are, well, G-22 has access to much more. And the price? Let us say, I owe you. You've already paid me, and the only currency I value. What do you say? All right. I need all the friends I can get. And for some reason, I trust you. You won't regret it, Mike. We're out of time, I'm afraid. Thank you for listening to me, Mike. I know you have a great deal of work ahead of you. Albatross, I need to know something. Yes. What? This business with Halbeck. I can still prevent it, right? There's a way to stop them. This isn't going to end well, is it? Mike. It never does.
little thwarted. Welcome to Moscow. You are fresh from Rome, yes? Terrible thing, bombings. Unless the art they destroy is bad. Then no loss. There were losses and gains for a few people, which is why I'm here. I feel honored. Your first time in Moscow, and I am your first stop. What brings Michael Thornton, world traveler, to this humble bar? I wanted to ask you some questions about Halbeck and the weapons they've been smuggling through Moscow. You are here conducting an investigation. Very interesting. In a sense, yes. Halbeck's involved in serious arms trafficking violations. I want to stop them. Interfering in such things is dangerous in Moscow. But you must know this. I'll take my chances. Of course, you're on a mission, and this is a matter of national... international security. I can help you, but such information will not come cheaply. Very well. I have the money sent to you. Now can you help me or not? It would be my pleasure. Now. What is it you want to know? Stopping the missile shipment is my top priority. What was their destination? That is a difficult question, but I know someone who would know the answer. There is a man, Sergei Serkov. He runs several businesses in Moscow. He may know who Halbeck is dealing with. Sergei Serkov. Running a check on the name now. We're getting a lot of hits. He shouldn't be hard to find. Although, judging from his contact list, figuring out where his next appointment is could take some time. All right, I think I can wait a little longer. And there's a few other leads I'd like to track down. You were planning to investigate Leningradsky Station, yes? Maybe you can do me a favor. A favor? Your American missiles are not the only uh, cargo that comes through the station. If you go, Maybe you could divert these shipments accidentally, of course. What, you mean change the shipping labels? And me without my label maker. It is more simple than that. The box destination is stenciled on the side, but it is a code. Change it with a marker, and the boxes will end up somewhere else. To a friend of ours who will be happy to reimburse us, Maybe do a little business with you. I'll think about it. What more can an old man ask for? Turn up anything, Mina? The name Grigori provided. Sergei Surkov. He's well-connected in Moscow, and he may know what Halbeck's plans are. Any idea where I can find him? 
I've confirmed he's at the American Embassy now. He should be there for the next few hours, if his schedule holds. Good to hear. Is something wrong? Something's interfering with the signal. I'm going to switch to another frequency. What the hell? Mike, I understand you're going after Surkov. I suppose it's too much to ask to give me some warning before you interrupt my calls. We don't have a lot of time. I know about your mission, and I can assist you in getting to Surkov. When you arrive at the Embassy, I can patch into your frequency and provide support as your handler. I think you'll find G-22's resources are considerable. All right. I could use all the help I can get. Excellent. I have your frequency. I'll contact you when you reach the embassy, and we can go from there. I'll get my gear and head out. All right. One last thing, Mike. I'd prefer infiltrating the embassy quietly. If things should get difficult, however... I'll be ready. Expecting trouble? Always. Great. What happened? I got cut off. Mina, I think Albatross is going to be joining us at the embassy. What? No time to explain. But I think we need to reach Surkov now. So this is the embassy, huh? I was hoping for something a little cheerier. There's still no contact from G-22. Do you want to call Mike, them? this is Albatross. Our surveillance indicates you're at the embassy perimeter. Can you confirm? I'm guessing that feedback means you've cut me off from my handler. I've locked down your signal to keep radio traffic to a minimum. It's a low probability embassy security will pick up our conversation, but I'm worried about other interests. Understood. Has your surveillance picked up anything else? Checking the embassy grounds now. No sign of hostiles. Yet. All right. Let's see what we got at the front door. Embassy guards in the front. But they don't seem to be on alert. You did speak to Grigori, didn't you, Thornton? I would have thought local informants would have already revealed our presence in Moscow. I spoke to him, but he didn't mention any ties to the embassy. In fact, he's the one who gave me Surkov's name. Grigori makes his living selling intelligence. If he didn't sell your whereabouts to Surkov, then we have a problem. How you want to handle the approach is up to you, Thornton. If you get into trouble, I cannot get agents there in time to help you. But remember, Surkov is our priority. There may be another way into the building. Satellites are picking up possible roof access. Understood. Mike out. explosion in your area. The VCI are attacking the building. Great. Any idea how many? Enough. Keep focusing on Sircom. That's where they're headed.
reinforcements are being deployed. They're repelling from the chopper onto the ledge outside the building. Circle is close. Picking up his radio. Agent Thornton. I had heard you were in Moscow, although I didn't expect our meeting to be quite so dramatic. Sergei Surkov, I'm here to get you to safety. I don't want to hurt you, I just need information. I see Grigori described you correctly, Agent Thornton. I'm at your disposal. How do you want to proceed? Well done. Let's see what he has to share. Tell me what you can about the Embassy. The Embassy security systems are our problem. The explosion has triggered the automatic security gates. They must be disabled if we want to escape the building. So I need to find the security terminal and then override the codes. Yes, the terminal is upstairs. But in the monitoring room next to us, there is a maintenance ladder. Take the ladder to the main security room upstairs. Unlock the gates. Then I can meet up with you at the courtyard. We don't have much time. The room Surkov mentioned should be close by. Once inside, look for a maintenance ladder leading up to the fourth floor. Let me see if I can open the maintenance hatch by remote. They've deployed several groups on the roof. Be careful. Bravo squad, moving out. Did it. Security gate's unlocked. Now all I have to do is get out of here. Rendezvous with Surkov in the main courtyard. Delta here. We'll he move it out. His way there now.
all the elevators on the upper floors. I'm trying to shut them down and cut off further reinforcements. I'm picking up PCI transmissions. Looks like reinforcements are entering the embassy. Sirkov's at the front door. Provide cover. Don't let him get shot, or this was all for nothing. Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search. Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search. Tanko Bogey Niner, initiating search.
lost contact. Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search. Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search. Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search. Out there. Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search. Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search.
Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search. Tank of Bogey Niner, initiating search. Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search. Who's out there? Tanker Bogey Niner, initiating search. Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search.
Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search. Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search. Tank of Bogey Niner. Initiating search. What the hell was that? Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search.
What the hell was that? Tango Bogey Niner, initiating... Search. Contact. Tank of Bogey Niner, initiating search. Tank of Bogey Niner. Initiating search. Tank of Bogey Niner, initiating search.
Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search. Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search. Tank of Bogey Niner, initiating search. Tank of Bogey Niner. Initiating search.
consultation precedes you, Mr. Tolkien. When Grigori indicated you were in Moscow, he underestimated your abilities. I did not. Glad I didn't disappoint. I was hoping you could help me. If I can, I will. You are here concerning Halbeck, correct? May I ask why? It's my responsibility to find out what they're doing here in Moscow. Your and responsibility? Stop them. Forgive me, Mr. Thornton, but my understanding was that you are a rogue agent. That doesn't make me any less responsible to my country or to the world, Mr. Surkov. Can you help me? I will, gladly. Halbeck is smuggling weapons through Moscow. Was your country not already aware of this? I'm not sure how much my government really knows. There seems to be protocols in place to blind them to their own actions. Hmm. I do not know who Halbeck's contact is in Moscow, but it will not take me long to find out. I appreciate the cooperation. As I appreciate you saving my life, Mr. Thornton. I think our responsibility to our countries is something we see eye to eye on. Glad to hear it, Zirkov. I look forward to hearing from you. Mr. Thornton, I'm glad you were able to make it. I have the information you requested. Glad to hear it, Mr. Surkov. Sergei, please. With that outfit you're wearing, I almost didn't see you come in. Are you planning to sneak out of here once you speak to me? I thought I'd wait until your back is turned, then hide against the wall. Understood. Mr. Thornton, Michael, as I said, I was able to track down the information you requested. After reading your dossier, however, I had a proposal for you. So you found out what Halbeck is doing in Moscow? I did, but there's more to it than that. Michael, I'm going to be honest with you. Based on your record and the events in Rome, I think you can be trusted. I have had dealings with Halbeck. In fact, I was their initial contact for smuggling weapons into Moscow, including these missiles you're looking for. Money talks, then. It was more complicated than that. Halbeck and I did not see eye to eye on the terms of our arrangement. We had a falling out. Unfortunately, they've found a new partner here in Moscow. A Konstantin Breko. Breko? I don't think I've heard of him. If he's an arms dealer, I'm surprised he didn't show up on the radar when I arrived. He merely has the illusions of becoming one, which makes him more dangerous. He's not the man to show restraint in business dealings, but few members of the Russian Mafia do. You two do a lot of business in the past? He was once a protege of mine. You wouldn't know it to look at him. Why? Does he smile more? Or just dress better? Not particularly. He is somewhat enamored of your American culture. The 80s, I believe. Halbeck's arrangement with Breko is going to cause 
repercussions. I'm a reasonable man, but Breko is dangerous. He will sell to anyone, provided they have the money. Those missiles, along with the other Halbeck munitions, could end up in places where greater tragedies can occur. So what's your proposal? If I help you with Breko, I do not want my past involvement with Halbeck exposed. Working with them was a mistake, and I understand that. If the information you can provide helps stop Halbeck's plans, I'll do what I can to keep you out of it. Then I can ask for little else. I thought you would be open to such a deal, Michael. Then all I need is Breko's location. He's in a mansion outside Moscow, decorated to his own particular tastes. I'm more interested in his defenses. That intelligence you may have to gain on your own or purchase from local contacts. Just download the location of my PDA and I'm set. Very well. I will have the information sent to you. And thank you again for saving my life, Michael. Whoa there, big guy. Didn't see you there. You been there the whole time? My apologies. Champion Chick is here to see me, Mr. Thornton. If you are going after Breko, then I am in need of protection while you're away. Nothing better than a walking wall, I guess. That medal for real? Champion Chick won it in the Olympics. Boxing, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I want some too. In shooting and martial arts. Have fun, you two. So you and Surkov met at the embassy during the attack. I could have timed it better had I known the VCI was planning to assault the place. But you survived. Even if many of the Marines stationed at the embassy did not. An unfortunate coincidence. Who knew those mercenaries would choose that moment to attack? Yeah. I was only after Surkov. Didn't mean for anyone else to get in the way. Now don't be down on yourself. No one knew the embassy was going to be attacked, did they? Someone did. Well, I hear most of the Marines died doing their duty, and the VCI suffered some casualties, I imagine, but probably not much. But you, you handled yourself exceptionally well. You must have had help. You're truly a skilled agent, Mr. Thornton, but one man against several highly trained squads? No. The odds aren't that good. Sometimes the best method is to send a man in alone. Good help is hard to find, and it usually slows me down anyway. Hmm. Something wrong? No. But remind me not to play poker with you. But back to the reason you were at the embassy. Surkov. You didn't seem to have much trouble getting information out of Surkov. I imagine you two had a cordial talk while the bullets were flying. He cooperated. I think he appreciated the fact I acted like a professional. I don't know if he fully trusted me then, but... But he did tell you who had the Helbeck missiles. And he gave you a name. Yes. Constantine Breko. Ah, Breko. What is it about the younger generation? At least Surkov was a businessman. They pretend to obey the law. But Constantine... There's a story I'd like to hear. Up-and-coming Russian mobster meets rogue American agent. What could the two of you possibly talk about? How video killed the radio star. <laughs> 